What is dude behind you? Dude! <laughs> what? Oh, shit! Oh, dude, don't, come on, don't come at me with that knife. They, oh, oh, God, she just stabbed my leg. Dude, what the hell? <laughs> What's up everyone? Welcome to the Seek and Destroy stream and we are here today with Resident Evil 7. We hit 300 followers this week and I kind of have three videos celebrating the 300 followers. Uh, the, sec the third one we haven't made yet. We'll make it in two weeks at E3 and it'll be me and Deadeye eating hot food that's covered in hot sauce as they get hotter and hotter and hotter. Um, and so that'll be our final 300 celebration video. But I also did an interview with Erica Luttrell, the voice of Cheetah on Injustice 2. So that was kind of our first video to celebrate that, uh, kind of anticipating that we were getting near crossing the 300 marker. Now that we've crossed it, we're going to do a speed run slash seek run today of RE7. And uh, I think most of the cutscenes we can't skip. Uh, and we're just trying to beat our communities like speed run right now uh the the best times the three best times that i know of uh and anyone out there who's on our twitch family can can correct me later but it's dead eye shots uh he has it at two hours and 32 minutes uh joe after work has two hours and 34 minutes and i have two hours and 36 minutes so we are going to try to beat dead eye's score so if we can beat this in less than two and a half hours that is going to be a victory and we're going to try to do this in two episodes so i just went ahead and started the game because i knew the intro's long i could talk over it we're not here for the story so much we're just here to to get through this game as fast as we can um so anyone out there who is uh, here for this thank you for being here and supporting this channel we're going to do our best hey, it's, uh, the last time we played this game i think we beat it in three hours like two hours and 58 minutes so i need to shave 30 minutes off of that time and i don't know where to shave the 30 minutes she's at. Dead. She's alive. She, she's back. They found her. How? What happened? I don't and, know. uh. I don't know how. All right. She's back. Controller's she's fully charged. Maybe so it should brain. last us. She wants me to come and get her. The span of this game. Dolby. Dolby, Louisiana. All right. And, uh, like I said, this is just What's for this? fun. See if we can do it in two episodes. So there'll be like, there'll be little, normally we do hour, hour long episodes here. Um, these will probably be like an hour 15, hour 20 each, depending on how we do. But around the 100, one hour and 15 minute marker, the 75 minute marker, we're going to stop this episode and immediately start the next one. And I'm just going to pause. So we're going to eat like a, a minute, like 30 seconds of time. We're going to just not have, um, uh, so no matter what we're going to, there's going to be a minute of this game. Uh, Time-wise, that you know is unavoidable because I'm gonna not stop the game. I'm just gonna pause it and restart my stream. So uh, that I think adds like an extra little challenge to it too. All right, so far so good. I'm trying to skip all this stuff. There's the van to the uh, film crew. How they got it up there is crazy, because uh, I'll show you where the van was, like when uh, when this started, like in the demo. There's Jack Baker. Slows down our run. He just vanishes. Dude's a creep. Super freak. That would have been cool to be able to look disappear to and see him like disappear at the top of the hill. That would have been a nice little touch, but it's also cool to see him just disappear. That's creepy enough. All right. So this is where the van was. Um on the other side of this tree. I gotta remember not to stop and pick things up that we don't need. Um, and if you hear my dog echo bark at all, it's just because um, there's a cleaning lady here and uh, the, the smell of the chemicals out in the hallway always agitates him. All right, keep going, keep going. So I don't wanna go upstairs because that's just where the tape is. We wanna go here. There we go. Echo, you good? Echo's got flea medicine on because it is getting to be that time of year. It is June 3rd, 2017. If you're watching this later on, 
It's actually good that we're replaying this too again. Um, we did play it like two weeks ago. Like I said, we were doing like a semi speed run, but the beginning I didn't take as seriously as I am right now. So we we beat it around three hours, like I said. But E3 is coming up, and last year at E3 is when they announced this game and when they made the demo available. So I'm wondering if this year at E3, it's the only thing I like, only real prediction or hope that I have at E3 is that Capcom shows off the Resident Evil 2 remake and then also maybe says, hey, by the way, go home tonight and you can download the Not a Hero DLC for Resident Evil 7. Because that is the last DLC that I know that we're waiting for. Besides, I think there's a. If you bought the season pass, there's supposed to be like an extra little episode thing uh, that's just free for buying the season pass. I didn't buy the season pass, so we'll have to pay, you know, three, four bucks or whatever, or five bucks for whatever this bonus episode is. But uh, even if that becomes available, that would be great to have. Shit. Ugh, gross. All right. Go, 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 go. All right, let's just go grab this first. Bolt cutters. Oh. So far, we're doing all right. And there's no one in my chat yet, so if some of you are wondering, like, hey, why aren't you talking to anyone? Um, it's pretty pretty slow. We just we took an hour break because we played Dead Space 2 earlier um, for like an hour. And then we came up with the idea to do this speed run as our second episode for 300 followers. And um, I was really getting into Dead Space, though, so I'm looking forward to going back to it. But I like that we're doing this too, because uh, I like a, I like friendly competition. Um, Are you gonna tell me what's going on? Juxtapose, juxtapose eighty-eight. Welcome to the stream, Echo. You cool? You good, Bubba? Oh, thank you. How's it going, bud? We are just doing a. A speed run slash seek run. I call it a seek run because I'm not like a professional speed runner, obviously. <laughs> and uh, I'm just trying to beat two and a half hours. Uh, that's our two hours and 32 minutes is Dead Eye Shots' uh, time on this. So I'm just trying to beat his time. And I have been unable to so far. So we're going to try to beat it today to help celebrate us hitting 300 followers on this channel. Echo. I told you. Cleaning people are here, so Echo's freaking out. Hey. We have to cool it. That message you sent me. Not me. That wasn't me. But you did. I did it. Hey. Okay, hey, hey. Fine. Come here. Just tell me what's going on. It's cool, dude. I'm telling you everything that Chill out. Me. Chill, we Echo. It's okay. It's all right, bub. Come here. You wanna come say hi? Wanna come interrupt my speed run? <laughs> I have a slight issue with the time gap in this game. Um, like the fact that she's been here for three years and Ethan's just now getting involved. Uh, to me, I would have rather had it. I think we talked about this in other streams before where I would have rather had it. It's there. I don't like the character of Ethan in this game. It's really a bummer because Ethan is the person you play as and he it comes across really bland and two dimensional and his responses seem his reaction to thing and responses seem really off and weird. Um, and they don't seem to match up with what you should feel in these situations. Um, and uh, I don't know. There's not a lot of panic in his voice. He yells and screams, but I don't feel like genuine panic in his voice and tone. So I think in retrospect, obviously, obviously they weren't thinking about this when they were making the game and writing the game. Um, but I would have liked to have seen... Um, 
Clancy be the main character because I liked playing as that in the demo. The fact that it was just random people coming across a random situation. It would have been neater if Mia had no boyfriend, had no uh, connection to the outside world, that she was so invested in her work that no one would come and save her other than possibly someone she worked with. Um, but even then, uh, you know, and you could even have had it to where like Pete or somebody was like an agent for the same company that Mia works for. And Clancy, you know, is just like a random camera guy and he gets caught up in a situation and he comes across this place. You know, I, to me, I don't know. That would have, I think that would have worked a little bit more for me and why Mia would have been here for three years. Cause I'm, I don't buy like, I'm like, ah, three years. It's such a, such a weird thing. Isn't there another? Oh, there it is. Sorry, I'm thinking of the demo. <laughs> All right, this is where, like this part of the game, time kind of fluctuates because you're not sure like what like what events you have to do to trigger like Jack Baker after we beat Mia, and there's like a lot of things. So, eat feet. What is up? Hey, sorry, Twitch decided to not alert me. Hey, no problem, dude. I think, I think. The reason for that is probably because of how quickly we stopped that last stream and came to this one. I think we only let it rest for like an hour and a half, and I don't know. If, I don't know if that's enough time for an alert. Um, I don't know. Could be wrong, but yeah, I figured no one got alerted, so so that's why I was like just keeping myself company <laughs> and talking away. Wait, wait. Ah. Jesus. Damn. Seeing that knife like right in your face is ugh. Crazy. Well, what's up, Efi? Thanks for coming back and hanging out with me, dude. I can feel her clawing her way back inside of me. Get out. Ooh. Echo, dude, seriously. No one's here to hurt you, okay? Come on, she's just cleaning out there. Yikes. What the fuck are you, Mia? What the fuck are you, Mia? Isn't that the question? Echo, it's cool, dude. There we go. I'm like, what triggers it? Come on. I'm trying to get through this quickly. What's our completion goal? Eat Feet says. Um, we are trying to beat two hours and 32 minutes. So that is our goal. Ooh. Dang. Get her, Ethan. Bam. And see, like, I know there's supposed to be, like, an emotional connection here of, like, oh, God, we just stabbed our girlfriend. What the fuck? This is out of control. This is crazy. Um, I honestly think the emotional impact would have been stronger um, if, uh, if it was a stranger. Like, if Clancy was just like, I found this girl. She was in a cage, and then she turned into you know like a creature and i had a stabber um i think the that would have been even more insane uh because i don't feel the emotional connection between ethan and i think that's because of his performance in the short time we have leading up to this moment in the game um i think that comes from his performance i i, I don't believe they're in love uh, and if he's been lost her for three years i feel like he probably is gotten to the point where you started to move on. I know you never get over someone missing or going away, obviously, but uh, I don't know. There's something about it that uh, doesn't connect with me. All right, let's go get the fuse. Echo, good boy. Echo is a good boy. He's being a little overprotective right now, though. So, yeah. So, this isn't uh, like a speed run on this, like a world record speed run. Um, it's just us trying to beat Deadeye Shots' 
Oh shit, there's me up. Uh, Dead Eye Shots' is record, which is two hours and 32 minutes. And so far we're okay. We're about 15 minutes in. Um, but I don't know if it... I think because you can't skip... The, oh shit, I almost did something really bad. Um, I think because you can't skip the cutscenes, it doesn't count uh, them as game time. It's okay. So, uh, I th and the opening cutscene's like five minutes long. So I think we're only about 10 minutes in, which is good. Because I think last time we played this, we got here around like the 20, 25 minute marker. Uh, because I was lollygagging. Get it out of you, dude. No. Oh. Damn. Oh, so gross. It's my job. Must contain outbreak. Gonna win. I promise. I like me as a character though. I even in that dialogue there where she's like, It's my job, you know, to um it's oh shit. Do we not have any health? I thought we had two, uh, two bottles. Um, but yeah, like her, uh, her, even that line that she says there were like, uh, you know, I'm just, I, I gotta stop the outbreak. It's like, dang. All right, so we're, we're we are gonna save in this, uh, even though I know it eats like precious seconds, it's fine. I just want to make sure if we ever do die, we don't have to go back too far. And I know there's auto saves, but uh, I don't want to rely on them too heavily. Echo. Okay, fine. Oh, I don't need to use it? Oh, okay. I was like, why am I not healing? Um, I guess I'm at full health. Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, if uh, if that Halo autosave taught us anything, checkpoints are not to be trusted. Oh shit, going too high. I have to do this. Shit. I don't have to do anything. Damn. And see, like, I don't know what triggers Jack here. Like, I don't know if you have to, like, check her body or... Here we go. Because that took us a few extra minutes last time uh, when we were playing too. I think it took us like a full minute or something to trigger Jack. Uh, <laughs> Dead Eyes here just sits on the floor. <laughs> yeah, he just, he's waiting. He's waiting to see if I could beat his time. You know what's funny though is I, if I do beat his time, it'll only last like a day. You know Dead Eye will be like, you know what? I can beat. I can beat. Like, because I'm sure if I beat your time, dude, it'll be by like minutes, like possibly like m like one or two minutes. And I have a feeling you're gonna be like, nah, fuck, fuck that. I could beat that time. And then you'll, I'll only be reigning champion for a day. And now we have Angel uh, entering the contest, and she's gonna try to beat our time as well. Um, so yeah, competitions getting tight. 
Uh, welcome, ready to have. Uh, welcome, ready to have your time beaten. What if Angel comes in like an hour completion? Oh, you know what? I, if anyone can do it, I bet you Angel will just dominate, just dominate. I can see that happening. And I am wearing an RE7 shirt. This is the RE7 shirt I got. Um, actually, the first RE7 video that I think I made was at San Diego Comic Con last year. We went to the Capcom booth, um, and we. Uh, we got to play the demo and for sur surviving the demo, uh, the kitchen demo, they gave me this really cool shirt, which was awesome. <laughs> so yeah, I don't think they count these scenes as game time because, uh, because you can't skip them. Dumb son bitch. Ooh. Echo. Come on, dude. Nobody wants to hear you bark. Everybody wants to hear you be chill, dude. Oh, don't growl, dude. Ugh. But yes, story-wise, like I said, and this is in hindsight, after playing, because our first time through it, I really did enjoy the game. But the more it sat with me, Ethan, Ethan, I, I feel like, um, I feel like it would have been cooler to, to have Clancy as the main character because I would rather see a random dude in this situation um, and not and just like through their sheer will to live be the one who finally escapes. Uh, but by making it like me as boyfriend and stuff like I don't know, just because then maybe because Clancy saves Mia, maybe you could have had a relationship build through this story uh, and then that would have added another level to it. Um, Something that we really haven't seen in a Resident Evil game. Well, kind of. I mean, Code Veronica kind of had that with Claire and um, Steve. But not a lot of people like Steve. So uh, this would have been a cool way to, you know, be like, oh, we, we like both Clancy and uh, Mia. Congrats on 300 followers. Sorry, I meant to say it earlier. Hey, that's okay, Angel. Thank you for saying it uh, now. That's very cool. Uh, I hope you're doing well. So we did explore a little too much last time, but I just want to make sure there's no bullets. There we go. I just want to make sure I have... Oh, we don't even need bullets and all that shit, because we're going to get the infinite ammo thing. So let's just go ahead and uh, do all this. Echo. You can hear my dog, can't you? Dude. Oh shit. You thought you'd just slip out before dinner was done? Echo, shut the fuck up, dude. You're goddamn breaking all the tension in this fucking game, man. God damn it, I forgot he does that. Shut up, Echo. Seriously, dude. It's just a fucking male person. God damn. Sorry guys, like I get distracted really easily. And when Echo loses his shit like that, I can't take Fuck it. You. All right. Well, we made it for lost time there. Echo, dude, you got to stop that, man. You got to stop that. He's like looking at me like, what? I'm just barking like at the top of my lungs. Um, oh, wait, we need to get this real quick. Because we might need to buy that Magnum later. 
Um, oh, and real quick shout out to our UK friends. Another possible attack. Someone in a car mowed down pedestrians and another man went on a stabbing spree. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, shit. God damn, that sucks. Um, God, that sucks. Echo, see that? There are real problems in the world. Stop fucking barking. God damn it. Alright, we got that. Okay. Echo, it's not cute anymore, dude. Thank you. Uh, what the fuck is wrong with the world I, and these people? I have no idea, guys. That sucks. Echo, come on, man. It's like, when, because when I'm playing, like, you know me, guys. I can only hear it at one ear, so I'm trying to pay attention to the game. His bark is so fucking loud in this small place. It's like, I can't, it just, it takes me right out of the game. It's like, man, I'm trying to fucking speedrun here, dude. And I'm not even that good at speedruns. <laughs> Wait, what do we need to do? Oh yeah, the police guy. All right, so let's go over here and trigger him. I don't know what triggers the cop. Um, there he is though. Nope, that wasn't him. What triggers the police officer? God damn it. I think maybe touching the door. Yeah, maybe that's that. Okay. There we go. Hey. Shit. Did Dead Eye slip Echo a 20 and tell him to distract you? He fucking. Hey, he help. better not have. Echo, if you sold me out because of Dead Eye, I will still love you. But that's fucking what? some weak shit. Me? No, no. <laughs> All right. Now we got several calls about some missing persons lately. You don't understand. Angel's laughing. That's a good one, Eat Feet. <laughs> that's a good one. Echo, did you sell me out for a fucking 20? For a fucking 29? What are you even going to do with human money, dude? You can't spend human money. Are you kidding me? You have no pockets to put that in. God damn it, Echo. God damn you, Deadeye. Uh, well, keep me posted, Eat Feet. If, if anyone is, you know, keeping the news on in the background, uh, keep me posted on those situations in the UK. Because I know um, Moons is out in, in the UK, right? Um, over near Manchester. He was telling us the other night. Uh, so, yeah, keep me posted on that. Right. Do you see what's going on in that school here in California? I think I started to talk about this the other day, and I didn't. Uh, but there's a school... Where like all, almost all the students are like almost not rioting, but just having these ins like insane levels of protest against the the guy who's in charge of their school, I think, and they want him fired or they want him to resign, and they're put and people are posting these videos all over online of what's been going on, and it paints some of these some of the videos like some of the videos are are fine and they, they the kids are um, trying to calmly say and make their points. Uh, but then there's some videos that make the students look really shitty and uh, and it doesn't make them look at it. it wasn't edited that way It's just they recorded what was happening and the students are like we're gonna find who that is and sue them and for making us look bad And they're painting a negative picture of what you know what we're trying to do here and I'm just like uh, No one edited this. This is just you guys being shitty people. So I don't know I've been I've been trying to keep tabs on that story because I, I understand what they they're doing and what they want, the students, but like anything, I think they're just going to somewhat going about it the wrong way. And it's like, it's, it's tough. It's tough to watch. Fuck it. I'm gonna kill every one of you. Here we go. Oh, 
Eat shit, Jack. Oh shit. What the? Oh shit. Yeah, that's right. He comes in. Oh shit. Go. Shit. No, 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 no. Let's this. I gave Echo a chew toy, Dead Eye says. <laughs> well, at least he's not squeaking that shit in my ear. That's kind of his alarm clock for me. Shit. His uh, Echo will come and jump on my chest in the morning and squeak a fucking toy in my face. All right. So we're about the 30 minute marker here. I think this is. <laughs> Only like five minutes because we had problems activating that cop and then we also had a little bit of struggle activating Jack. Um, but, uh, and then we, the echo incident. But I think we're a little bit faster than where we were the first time. There we go. Keep his ass closer to that explosion. Ooh, there's a motorcycle up there. Gave Echo a chew toy. God damn you, Deadeye. So now we gotta pick up this gun. Damn. Do I have your attention, boy? You're about to see some wonderful. Remember when we first played this game? There was just like that moment, especially. It was like, it was just like all these crazy shock, um, shock moments. But they were effective. Like that moment where he's just like, he's like, "Oh, you think you could beat me?" And he just blows his own brains out. You're like, F "Like, okay, didn't see that coming." Dude, this looks amazing. I'm not even lying. Whoa! Oh, no way! What? Dude, his head! She threw his head at me! <laughs> what the? 